Oh. Tell y'all about how these motherfuckers <clears throat> be draining your energy and shit. Energy vampires. That's what I call them. Fucking energy vampires. So let's say like you might encounter a person. You know what I'm saying? Just a casual event or whatever. Motherfucker like you exchange, you know, pleasantries or whatever. Some people walk straight past you. It doesn't matter, you know, because if they don't speak to you, that drains your energy and make you get mad or whatever. You know, we feel some type of way, but that's how energy works. So let's say you, you, you greet this person. You might know this person. You might not know this person, but you wind up getting into a disagreement or an argument, right? So whatever the cause may be, you feel like you right and they wrong. <clears throat> so either which way, you know, y'all start arguing back and forth, right? A few minutes, you know, two, three minutes. You know, well, I look at it like this. I say this. You say that. Woo, woo, woo. You know what I'm saying? So you kind of getting heated a little bit, you know, because your, your kundalini, your energy is rising. You feel what I'm saying? So it's because of the exchange of words is energy. Words is power. The tongue is mightier than spiritual you know what i'm saying but this is change of words you know whether if it's pleasant you get good energy if it's not pleasant then you get bad energy you know what i'm saying so it just depends on how you and this person interacting with each other as far as how the energy gonna flow you feel what i'm saying <clears throat> so once once we got this energy flowing right boom i mean if, if it's bad it's bad you know what i'm saying you could go around somebody you can walk in the room and tell if it's bad energy from a person, how they feel, how they look, how they might speak, how they might not speak, or just in general how they sound, you know what I'm saying? And they start telling you their story, and it's a sad story. You know, I broke up with my boyfriend, he ain't come home last night, woo, woo, woo. That makes you feel sad. That's draining your energy. You feel what I'm saying? It's pulling you to a low state of mental vibration or spiritual because your mind is your spirit. So it's pulling your energy into a low spiritual vibration place and as energy as you feed into it, as much energy you're going to get back. If you sit and listen and try to compromise with them and try to help them, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? You feel like this person feels, you know, that's when you start taking on the energy that that person producing. You know what I'm saying? So every interaction with people is a pull on your energy low or high vibration depending on what the subject is depending on what y'all talking about depending on you know what it is so people talk about bipolar stuff all the time bipolar just means two poles bi means two poles is polar polar pole so plus and minus you feel what i'm saying but what i'm getting at is this Every person that you come into contact with, every situation you come to have come into contact with, pulls on your energy. You feel what I'm saying? If y'all got any questions, when I get through, I'm let y'all answer y'all questions and scroll back through. Uh, and so bipolar, you know, it's like it's a battery. You need both of them, but the, the both of them together gives you the energy. You feel what I'm saying? So it's plus and minus. But every person you meet pulls your energy into a different direction. Every person you meet, you have to become a different individual. The same person who you, your mother is a different individual from your brother or sister. You treat them differently. You feel what I'm saying? There's two different people you have to become just to interact with whoever you come into contact with. You're not going to treat a person on your job like you treat your brother. You're not going to treat a person, you know, you meet out in public like you treat a person that you call your friend. You feel what I'm saying? There's two different energies. You feel what I'm saying? You have to find out and feel the flow how this person actually interacts, you know, with energy or whatever in order to, you know, build a relationship or rapport, you know what I'm saying? Even a conversation. So regardless of the fact, people always put it on your energy. And it makes you go to your higher pole or your lower pole depending on the conversation or the interaction with that person. You feel what I'm saying? So now, by by you interacting with these people, they, they could either drain you or it could recharge you. It could refresh you. So, long story short, 
where do you spend your your energy that depends that determines not depends that determines on how your reality is as far as where you focus your energy you feel what i'm saying if you let a lot of people or people you know it could be anybody it could be your family member it could be your son and you get emotionally attached to a certain situation that you're in that's going to pull your energy to that state you know what i'm saying you're going to feel the vibe the vibration the flow of energy towards you on how you might feel towards that situation you feel what i'm saying if you get into uh, a whole lot of emotional movies, dramatic movies, um, any type of whatever, it's pulling your energy. It's feeding your energy. It's programming you to look at the reality in a certain type of way. It's programming your mind, your energy, your soul. Um, I'm not even going to say your soul, your spirit. It's programming your spirit and how your spirit is going to work out here in this reality. So if you feed your reality or yourself, your your mind, your, your mind with love and hip-hop, you know, I'm not saying nothing wrong with it because I watch it sometimes too. But I watch a lot of other stuff too that also balances out my vibration. You know what I'm saying? Keep my vibration kind of high. You feel? So that's the difference. You have to, we have to guard our energy at all times. Because you have people who, no matter what state of mind or consciousness they're in, they're going to come and pull off your energy. They're going to pull off your vibration. You know, they're going to pull off the flow. Of how you actually are, um, yo, yo, how you reacting into this reality. So, if somebody come to you, they talking noise, they talking miss, you could choose to interact with that person at that same level, or you could choose to say, no, I'm not going to even pay attention to that right now. I got something else to do. I'll holler at you tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? That'll give you time for that situation to heal itself. Sometimes we don't think like that because a lot of times, you know, I ain't no H, no ho, I ain't no bitch, I ain't no pussy. You feel what I'm saying? So we want to react according to the energy that we get from that person. You know what I'm saying? And that person could be straight with, but if you be humble, you know what I'm saying? If you humble yourself, you know, man, look, I got some other stuff going on right now. I got to go take care of some business, man. Call me, we can, we can, talk, we can talk about that. You feel what I'm saying? That's how you control your energy. That's how you keep your vibration on high. But you have to do it in real time. You don't do it when you sit back and think about it after the shit that went down. You see what I'm saying? You have to program your mind to think on a higher frequency, a higher vibration than the average person because the average person is thinking on every day saving the world. I got to go do this. I got to take care of that. I got to, you know what I'm saying? Do this, that, whatever it may be, you know, picking the kids up from school, going to work, you know what I'm saying? You know, filling out this paperwork for this, you know, such and such want me to come help them do that, you know, it's putting on your energy. You feel what I'm saying? So you got to realize and try to maintain a high vibration of energy, meaning that, man, I don't care about all that. Yeah, I sit and listen to your story. Yeah, I give you my opinion, but after that, I'm letting it go because I'm not going to let it affect me in a physical type way that now I'm, oh man, I'm, I feel so sorry, so sad. And that's cool to be that, but realize where your energy at now. So everybody for the next hour, you know, you talk to, you running them this same stuff. You transferring energy or even just your flow, even if you don't speak about it, you still transferring them your energy as far as to how your vibration is from whatever event you just went through. It's, on, it's three ways to program your subconscious mind. One is through trauma. Trauma is violence. So when you was a kid, they taught you how this reality worked, how to use your energy as far as through violent measures. They slap you on the hand. They hit you on the butt. They shout at you, tell you, no, don't do that. Stop that. That's, that's violence. Even verbal is violent. You know what I'm saying? Verbal abuse is still abuse. It's still violence. <clears throat> and so, and so, that's how you program your mind. That's how they program us with hell. You know what I'm saying? If you don't do this this the right the right way like we say it's supposed to be done, then you're going to hell. You committed a sin. You feel what I'm saying? Sin can be made up. Slavery was a, a, a sin at one time. One time it's not a sin. You feel what I'm saying? Anything can become a sin based on what you believe and how you believe it. Now, but as far as 
people coming into your reality every day, you not being able to focus on what you need to do to manifest your greatest, your best reality is based off of how you let people control your energy, how you let yourself control your energy, how you manipulate your energy. You feel what I'm saying? If your, if your vibration is always on a high vibration, you always got people that's going to come and tempt you, going to come and get, holler at you, talk shit to you, you know, because they know that you humble. They know that you meek. They know that you're a cool type of being. But at the end of the day, you know, they don't understand that everything has a balance. I might want to balance it out with the bullshit today. Just because you with the bullshit today. I might want to be like, man, look, holler at me later. I ain't got time for that right now. You know what I'm saying? So, a lot of people can't watch the stuff I talk about because this ain't for everybody. And I appreciate that because I'm knowing that... <clears throat> The state of mind you have to be in you really have to research you really have to be on a on a on a path of getting understanding on how this whole reality works and not just how i was taught how they said it is because the shit they say but then it don't work the shit we was taught yeah oh that was my lawyer I had to talk to him no nah, that was that was a damn recorded message i thought of my lawyer though the same area code but either which way so um you know so I tend to be around myself a lot because I like to keep my vibration high. You feel what I'm saying? And that's the only way I could do it. If I go around family, you know, they they trying to find some type of way to yell, cuss, scream at me. You know, if I go around friends, you know, they trying to find some type of way to manipulate me to do what I, they want me to do. Or, you know, just even if we just chilling and having a good time, you know. You know, I can't be who I am as a person. I can't let my energy flow how I need it to flow. So, you know, that's why a lot of time I just don't go around friends and family and people who don't understand my energy. You feel what I'm saying? Because they, if, if, if you putting a whole lot of drama, if you putting a whole lot of romance, a whole lot of love, you think just it's all about love. It's all about peace. It's all about this. It's all about that. You open up a doorway or a path for people to come in and take advantage of that. So you have to maintain balance even within that. That's why a lot of people get money. They leave because everybody wants money. How can I keep money if I'm barely having money and flipping money and then y'all pulling on my money? You pulling on my energy. My energy is how I get money. So I understand the philosophy, but you have to understand that people are going to come to you with all type of different type of ways to pull off your energy you know you could agree to it you could say yeah i'm gonna help you move your you move out your house today and you can say no nah, i ain't helping you man i ain't letting you no nah, i got some other shit to do because that take energy for me to help you move out of your house you know what i'm saying what you giving me back you giving me a sacrifice you giving me an offering you sacrifice some of them fucking benjamins you got you sacrifice some of them whatever you know them them whoever the people is on them dollars sacrifice some of that shit then maybe i might consider you know what I'm saying? So you could always say no to how people come to you and um, pull on your energy the same way. No, I ain't got time for that. I, I Hey, look, I'm going to call you back. I understand your relationship. I understand, you know, your brother just died, your mama just died. I got to call you back, you know, because now I'm going to be sad for the next six days, six hours, six minutes because of what you got going on. I ain't going to let you eat off my energy like that. So a lot of time, you know, I have a nonchalant attitude after I get my, you know, opinion on, you know, because at the end of the day, you are the decider. You are the God within. You are the one who says, I'm going to take this right, I'm going to take that right. You are the one who says, I'm going to focus my energy, you know what I'm saying, and just being sad about whatever may have happened for the next 10 years. Or you can say, I'm going to do it for the next six hours or six months, six weeks, and let that shit go. That's how you get your energy back. If you hold on to stress, pain, sorrow, and all that type of stuff there, <clears throat> if you hold on to it because you're holding on to negative energy in your body, it's building the fuck up. And sooner or later, when any pressure build up in your body or in any type of pipe or even a power line or whatever, it's going to pop something. So that's how you pop something. Stress. Worrying about your son. Worrying about somebody who dead, who gone to a better place, as y'all say. If it's a better place, what you stressing for? What you worry for? You feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, control the flow of your own energy. That's how you build your reality. If your reality is just based off of, you know, slapping dudes down and shooting at this and, you know, talking about them and hating on that, then your reality going to be there. If your mind is thinking that, a thought is a thing. A thought is energy. 
You cannot do nothing without thinking about it first. That's bringing stuff from the darkness of your subconscious mind or your conscious mind. Most of us, we do it consciously, but a lot of times we act subconsciously, meaning I act off instincts. That's your subconscious. You had controlled your instinct. Your instinct is your animal nature. <clears throat> That's your subconscious mind, your instincts. So if you're doing stuff off an of instinct, you acting like an animal. Oh, I ain't know. I just, I just did it. You know what I'm saying? I just, I wouldn't even think about it. I just hit him upside his head. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going off of instincts. You're going off your animal nature, your lower self, your Satan self. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> you know, that's why you see red when you get mad. I just got so mad, I just I, I just couldn't do this. I just couldn't do that. I had to, you know what I'm saying? I had to do that. You know what I'm saying? You ain't had to do nothing. You had to say, no, I ain't finna do that. But you didn't. So now you have to deal with the reality of what you created. You know what I'm saying? Which is another, you know, lower state of vibration where you finna go. Somebody might kill you, somebody might shoot you, somebody might put your ass in jail. So it depends on how you handle the situation and how you let your energy flow. Y'all running around, we running around, <clears throat> letting people just drain us all day. And then you want to go home and then you, your old lady or your kids wonder why, you know, you're going through, why you feeling so, why you bringing out all this anger on them, why you bringing out all this pain on them. That's why. That's why. You know, if you don't deal with it and let it go, you know, process it, take it for what it is, make improvements. That's what I do. Make improvements and then boom, go, you know, keep moving. Let it go. You know what I'm saying? Because the more you hold pain in, stress, anger, whatever, it, it manifests into your world. You, know, you take it out on your kids. You take it out on your girl. You take it out at your job. You take it out, you know, at school. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, you know, so it's you that's building the reality. You take it out financially because you're not being able to focus on your finances or what you have at hand, the goals at hand, because you're too focused and you're too much stuff putting on your energy, keeping you from manifesting your thoughts into the world. That's, that's what we call magic. Taking some shit from here and creating that shit in the real world. That's magic right there. Let's see who has some fucking questions so I can get off here. Oh, Cartel, I see it, boy. I see all y'all. I see all y'all. Curtis, Adima, Diamond, Marlo, Shonda. How y'all doing, everybody? I'm just talking and visualizing. My cousin, Derek. My boy, Vontrell. What's up, man? I'm finna get out of here. I just had to drop that energy on y'all. Get at me, Vontrell, about that hat, boy. I forgot all about you for a couple of weeks, but I thought about it. <coughs> get at me. <coughs> Come by and pick that thing up. Probably today. Inbox me if you're on here, boy. I'm gonna holler at y'all.